worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, let the whole earth tremble before him. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The Lord rewarded me because of my righteous dealing. Because my hands were clean, he rewarded me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not offended against my God. For all his judgments are before my eyes, and his decrees I have not put away from me. For I have been blameless with him and have kept myself from iniquity. Therefore the Lord rewarded me according to my righteous dealing because of the cleanness of my hands in his sight. With the faithful you show yourself faithful, O God. With the forthright you show yourself forthright. With the pure you show yourself pure, but with the crooked you are wily. You will save a lowly people, but you will humble the haughty eyes. You, O Lord, are my lamp, my God, you make my darkness bright. With you I will break down an enclosure, with the help of my God I will scale any wall. As for God, his ways are perfect. The words of the Lord are tried in the fire. He is a shield to all who trust in him. For who is God but the Lord? Who is the rock except our God? It is God who girds me about with strength and makes my way secure. He makes me sure-footed like a deer. He lets me stand firm on the heights. He trains my hands for battle and my arms for bending even a bow of bronze. You have given me your shield of victory. Your right hand also sustains me. Your loving care makes me great. You lengthen my stride beneath me and my ankles do not give way. I pursue my enemies and overtake them. I will not turn back till I have destroyed them. I strike them down and they cannot rise. They shall fall defeated at my feet. You have girded me with strength for the battle. You have cast down my adversaries beneath me. You have put my enemies to flight. I destroy those who hate me. They cry out, but there is none to help them. They cry to the Lord, but he does not answer. I beat them small like dust before the wind. I trample them like mud in the streets. You deliver me from the strife of the peoples. You put me at the head of the nations. A people I have not known shall serve me. No sooner shall they hear than they shall obey. Strangers will cringe before me. The foreign peoples will lose heart. They shall come trembling out of their strongholds. The Lord lives. Blessed is my rock. Exalted is the God of my salvation. He is the God who gave me victory and cast down the peoples beneath me. You rescued me from the fury of my enemies and exalted me above those who rose against me. You saved me from my deadly foe. Therefore will I extol you among the nations, O Lord, and sing praises to your name. He multiplies the victories of his king and shows loving kindness to his anointed, to David and his descendants forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. What then, brothers and sisters, when you come together, each one has a hymn, a lesson, a revelation, a tongue, or an interpretation. Let all things be done for edification. If any speak in a tongue, let there, only, let there be only two or three at the most three in each in turn, and let one interpret. If there is no one to interpret, let them each keep silence in the church and speak to himself and to God. Let two or three prophets speak, and let the others weigh what is, what is said. If a revelation is made to another sitting by, let the first be silent. For you can all prophesy one by one so that all may learn and all be encouraged, and the spirits of prophets are subject to prophets. For God is not a God of confusion, but of peace. If 
anyone thinks that he is a prophet or spiritual, he should acknowledge what I am writing to you is a command of the Lord. If anyone does not recognize this, he is not recognized. So, my brothers and sisters, earnestly desire to prophesy but do not, and do not forbid speaking in tongues. But all things should be done decently and in order. Here ends the lesson. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another your abounding grace may increase among us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hi, I'm Father Garrett Boyd, and this is the Church of the Holy Cross. Please join us every day at 6 p.m. for daily evening prayer and Sundays at 11 a.m. for the Holy Eucharist, live and in person on Facebook and here on Cotton Street. And now, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you forever. Amen.